so yeah how to get started like i've told you like more like industry so many things are there it's like so confusion like where you start from so definitely you'll go start working on your computer and you'll see so many things out there like it will be a confusing situation so definitely go and watch tutorials like definitely you can find stuff on youtube and you can go and do some online course like skills there is there like some pinterest i am using cinema 4d a lot for my work so i am i watch cinema 4d tutorials or like cinema 4d forums use behance as your best guide you can watch some work there's another one plural site that's definitely worth it vimeo is another one and this one is grayscale gorilla you can watch tutorials for cinema 4d and grayscale gorilla gorilla so yeah next is practice so uh, this this is a not so technical thing it's just a basic thing to understand like this is the graph for performance measure and this is the number of trials like you'll be doing in your journey so definitely in the starting it will be like very slow very slow it will be like if you'll open a software then definitely you find so many buttons out of it you'll get confused like you'll know not know where to start from so you have to understand you have to find some key points from the tutorials like why they are pushing this button why are they using this tool so in the starting there will be a like very slow beginning then eventually you'll start learning there will be a steep acceleration when you'll understand things then you'll know the tools how to use it then you'll finally reach the plateau where you'll, where you'll be knowing like i won't say like most of it but definitely like 20% or like 30% of it so i think this will be a great thing if you'll achieve that much so next on like you practice 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 that's the only thing which will make you succeed so after practicing use some references so i used to play some games watch some movies so i use references from them like you can see this is game far cry and some game uh this one was i think yeah far cry only and some of the trailers some of the movies are there you can get references out of it you can use them but don't copy it like properly you can just take some of the design elements some of the patterns if you'll say use the, uh, use those things as your tool don't fully copy it because you know like copying is like totally stealing steal it but in a like very smart way so next on is like follow your favorite artist so yeah if you will follow your favorite artist then definitely your work will be gonna excel because see this is mike winkelman this is some of my favorite artists which i am following this is beeple this is a great guy mike winkelman so his thing is making artwork daily so you can see 4764 consecutive days so he is making artwork every day every single day till today i think he is making so since last 10 years he is making artwork like every day he spends one hour for like one artwork and he used to post post it in social media so this is a learning process for him you for you it might be totally different for me i use i usually like take 3 to 4 days to make one artwork for myself so this is my process so yeah people is a great guy you can follow him this is his artwork it's a really cool some class and architecture you can find here this is another guy simon hall metal is a really fx guy most of the things are effects very eye catching and abstract kind of art you'll see this is a commercial for a mouse you can see the particles how it displaced it's a really nice guy andrew kramer as as you might all be knowing it i think he's like the guru of after effects you can learn most of the things from him 
like if you can see the thx video of it like you will find so many stuff peter taka is another guy is definitely elegant for illustrations like if you are a graphical students you can definitely find his work really intriguing like so many patterns are there if you'll find one circular is there one square is there so many squares are there and cubes are there like it's it's following a different pattern so you can see like how the artwork you can use some of the elements of his this is another great artwork it's really complex but you can definitely find some patterns like two leaves are here and some of the tubes are here 